What's up guys, Heeking here bringing you uh, this week's manga review on the latest One Piece chapter, chapter 1047, The Skies Above the Capital. So yeah guys, another good chapter from Oda this week, uh, and it looks like we're going to be entering the climax, well we're already in the climax of Wano, but it looks like we're in the final rounds of this fight essentially. So yeah, we start with, obviously, we get a little uh, front cover page of the magazine here with all various characters, Luffy in the center. Yeah, we got Deku on the side there, Asta above him, doing some Taekwondo, it looks like. Uh, yeah, and as we're going down and down and down, we get this awesome co cover page, uh, color cover page, by the way. We got Jubei asleep, uh, we got Momonosuke there, Frankie riding him, or is he is he cleaning? No, he's riding him. I thought he was cleaning him, but no, he's riding him. You got Usopp jumping and eating one of uh, Sun Jesus' hot dogs. Robin uh, reading, Jubei just, you know, sunbathing, relaxing on the, on the, on the chair. Brooke on the ground sleeping, Zoro doing whatever he's doing, I think he's cooking, I think he's doing barbecue, and Luffy's just hanging onto the net that Nami is uh, sleeping on, you know, it's nice, uh, and what is, uh, I think Momonosuke is trying to eat the uh, sausage that Zoro's got up for him perhaps, but it's very funny, but uh, yeah, moving on, we're going to the actual chapter where we left off, uh, I'm trying to remember what happened last chapter. Uh, I think I think Luffy had a thunderbolt in his hand, right? Like that's where we ended on, didn't it? Didn't it? And then there was like a break. Uh, hold on a second, Kitty wants to be let out. Uh, okay, moving on. You can do it, Momonosuke Kun. So yeah, make those uh, flame clouds easier said than done. This is impossible. They refuse to come out, no matter how hard I try. So Momonosuke is still trying to make these bloody flame clouds, and Onagashima is crumbling. It's burning, like. And, and he's crying, he's crying, he's saying, I can't, and he's flashing back to that moment uh, about 20 years ago. Well, for him, it wouldn't have been 20 years ago, but yeah, this happened 20 years ago. He's flashing back to his uh, home, the big tower that got basically destroyed and burned down, where he's with Kodamon and the others. There's his mom, and uh, yeah, you know, I am certain you'll be able to revive the Kozoki clan after you leap, tw after you leap 20 years into the future. And Momonosuke, just being a child, he's like, I can't do this. If I have to go, you and Hayori should come with me, mother. Momonosuke Sama, think about your mother's feelings. And there's Kinemon. Kinemon trying to basically move him. He's like, this is the land of samurai. When one suffers a great failure here, their life is usually forfeit. No man should question the resolve of a woman who speaks with such conviction. Nothing could be more shameful. I, I always hate this kind of, like, uh, honor talk. Do you know what I mean? Like, I find it to be so backwards and stuff. I get where they're coming from, but it's like... It's like he's a freaking child, for Christ's sake. Why are you throwing it all on his shoulders? He can't, like, do you know what I mean? Like, well, I'm not a man. I'm just a kid. And yeah, he's right. He's just a kid. Like, uh, it... And of course, now Momonosuke has made himself older. We still haven't seen what he looks like as an older, as an older person yet. But, uh... This is the mind of a child inside a grown-up's body now at this point. Uh, when, when we get to that point. But, uh, still... My lord, with all due respect, with low older god, you are no longer just his heir. If I can speak freely, I beg you to give us another chance to fight. It's it's crazy to think because you got Kinemon there, you got uh, 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 Rizal there, and then you got Conjuru there as well. Like, and yeah, it's kind of funny at the way he's drawn. It, it looks like he's being engulfed by the flames. By the way, I don't know if that's sort of be sort of meant to be some sort of a nice detail there, but uh, uh, I. I, I beg you to give us another chance to fight. I would rather die with honor on a battlefield than wait here and burn to death. Can't you give us that chance? I would do anything to wield my sword for you, my lord. And, uh, yeah, his mom, you know, trying to comfort him. You've got the others comforting him. Uh, and whatever happened to his mom then? So we're, we're, we're meant to assume she died then, basically. But Hayori survived, though, so... Did she just burn it, Kaido or Orochi Killer? Is there going to be twist ways to reveal that she's alive, perhaps? I don't know, but... Uh, but Momonosuke, he turns to her and he's like, Mother, I, I will be on my way now. And she's crying as well, yes. And then... And then we cut back to the present where he's still crying and he's like, I would never be able to face Mother if I left things like this. Stop. Stay away from the capital. Stop, damn it. And he's trying. He's trying with all his might, but it does. It just doesn't seem to work. So I, I don't know where this. I don't know where this is going because he's been trying to do this for a, for a good long ass while now, and and still nothing. Then we cut back to the Kaido Luffy fight. The skies are cracking as you expect, 
and he's literally like, well, you know, Kaido is bloody surprised. Like, he's both, he's got this very impressed look on his face. Like, you grab lightning, oh, how ridiculous. And Luffy's like, Gomu Gomu no Thunderbolt. And he launches like, like he's freaking Zeus while he's twirling and twisting around, launching this Thunderbolt at Kaido. But it seems that it misses Kaido because he dodges out of the way of it. And he's like, you know, you can keep playing around if you want. And he goes for an attack and he smacks Luffy. He smacks Luffy out of the sky away. And then another Thunderbolt comes down. And Luffy grabs the Thunderbolt and he starts spinning around on it. Like he's a freaking stripper, okay? Uh, it's just hilarious to see. And and he do he basically flings himself off the Thunderbolt towards Kaido. And he's bent the Thunderbolt as well, which is crazy, man. Like... And, it, and, and Kaido's like, in the end, a strong devil fruit power isn't enough to conquer these seas. And Luffy goes for another attack. He's like, Gomu Gomu no. And Kaido, he just whams onto him into the face. And uh, I don't know if they're still in the air, if they're ground. I think they're in the sky at the moment. But Kaido flicks him down hard into the ground, I believe. And then, like, Luffy just sort of hits the ground. And he's like, he turns the ground into rubber because it sort of bends down, basically, right? And then he just sort of bounces back up. And he's coming back up towards Kaido. And Kaido's like, such hurdles can only be overcome with Haki. And he goes for another attack. And Luffy, you know, he hockeys his arms as Kaido goes for an attack. And he smacks him down again. And like, he just he passes him, I think. And Luffy, like, yeah, he's bleeding out. And his eyes are going all circly. But then he, he goes up and he grabs Kaido. And he's stretching him like, huh? And then... And then I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. I don't know if Kaido's flinging him up into the sky. I think I think Luffy's gone into the sky. Something's going on here. Like what is going on? And then Kaido's trying to cut the uh, stretched arm off with his bad. And he's like, "Let go. You've given away your position." And then he does. I don't know what he's doing with his scales. He's doing something with his scales. Like I don't know what's going on. Dragon Twister Demolition Breath seems you're still weak to slashing attacks. I don't know what is going on here. Luffy's gone into the clouds, basically. He's been launched into the clouds, but he, he's used one arm outstretched to grab Kaido. And Kaido is shooting spikes or whatever out of his back. Like, what the hell's going on here? And they're trying to hit Luffy, and they're cutting into him. And he's clenching. He's clenching through this pain, basically. And he's like, go on, reach the souls of the departed. So we're cutting back to the flower catapult. They're so unaware that you've got this big ass like rock meteor basically like like coming towards them ever more. And like lift off, watch the sky lands fly up, up and away. And you've got the people just like the festival is going to end soon. And when the sun rises, we'll be slaves again. And wow, wait, wait, what a way to put it, man. Like, yeah, we're going to be slaves again. Let's, let's enjoy this time. And I get it. I get it. It makes sense. This is the one time in the year where they can have fun, where they can laugh, where they can relax and just be cheerful. But it's so sad that the way they're saying that, it's like, yeah, this is the one day where we're not slaves. And then for the rest of the year, for the rest of the, like, where, how long ever that goes on for, like, in this world, we'll be slaves again. I'll pop on away. And, it, and it's sad. And you've got Tama, like, dancing and, and smiling. I really hope I manage to survive for next year. That's just crazy, man. Like, these people are like, like, that's just, oh, man. And they, they please reach daddy. And that's, that's sad, man. That's depressing. That's really depressing. And we're cutting back to the fight. We're cutting back to Gaido. He's like, let go of me. Get down here, Strawhead. And he launches a, you know, a super blast. And like, Luffy's still holding on. He hasn't let go. He, like, Kaido launches a freaking, uh, 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 you know, blast breath at him. And it scorches Luffy. But he's still holding on to Kaido where he is in the sky. And then we're cutting down to the dome interior, okay? Where with where boss uh, Haigo, uh, ha Hayogoru. And he's like, you know, his men are like, are you okay? The whole island is falling. And, and Hayoguru is on the ground. He's like, huh, that just means Kaido is at the end of his rope. And he gets up and he turns to all of his men. He's like, listen, all of you, think which outcome would, think which outcome would you prefer? Sir Straw Hat, defeating Kaido would result in the island falling and all of us plummeting to our deaths. On the other hand, Kaido coming out on top would only give us a little longer to cling to our lives. And yeah, what what a question, right? It's like, do you want to... It's basically a case of, do you want to die now or do you want to die later? Like, yeah. sorry, my camera just got off there. Battery ran out, replaced it, but yeah. So yeah, I was saying, like, uh, the, but the question that uh, Hayogoro uh, uh, is asking basically is, do you want to die now or die later? You know, because if you die now, it means that Kaido gets defeated, we win, but we die. Or Kaido wins and we die later under, you know, under him. Like, which one would you prefer? 
and everyone's just sort of like thinking and one of the, well you got one guy in the background who's sort of smiling is like and and they're like well and they're laughing they're laughing when they really when they get asked this and they're like well when you put it like that it seems like a no-brainer and, and one guy's like i have a kid in hakuma my wife is down in, and there's other ones like my wife is down in ringo if and there's other guys he's just smiling and saying if sir if sir if, if sir straw hat wins they could all live their lives in peace we'd never be able to repay him our country would finally be back to normal and he's like straw hat son and, and they're launching their swords in the sky, like they're lifting their arms up, swords, swords in hands, and one dude, like, there's one big dude, he's like, yeah, like, so, you know, straw hat, so don't mind us, go all out and take Kaido down once and for all, and you got a kid there listening to all of this, like, he's like, ooh, ooh, like, what? Like, like, he's probably thinking, are you guys insane? And then you got one of the beast pirates there, I think, who's like, I don't know if, if they're on their side now or not, but he's like, do you samurai have a screw loose? We're all done for. And I go, and Hayo goes like, and? So what if we are? And like, uh, yeah, these guys are accepting death. They're basically saying, like, if it means that, you know, uh, Kaido gets defeated, but we die, screw it, go for it. Like, take us out with it. Like, like do, like, do. Like, he can probably tell, like, uh, Hay uh, Hay Hayaguro can probably tell that, like, a big attack is coming, and that, this is probably why he's asking this question. Like, he can sense it, because after all, he, he trained, uh, or at least he helped Luffy in mastering his hockey, right? So he probably knows what's about to happen or what's coming, and he's like, yo, guys, we have a choice to make. Like, you know, do you want, you want, you want, to, you want to die crying or you want to die smiling, happy, and that's like, yeah, like, like, go for it, go for it, and uh, that's insane, man. Like, <laughs> and then we're cut into the basement with with Usopp and that uh, giraffe dude just running for it. He's like, I don't want to die. And, like, then the contrast between the samurai who are ready to die to the contrast to Usopp was like, I don't want to die, and he's like, you think this is gonna kill me? I'm surviving this no matter what. And then you got the water just rushing and hitting him and pushing him forward, and then we're cut into the uh, uh, treasure. Repository on the second floor where Hayori is with uh, Orochi, and basically the sea stone needle, like whatever's happened, like the bouncing or the fire, whatever, it's caused the sea stone needle to basically come out that was keeping him from transforming. And Orochi is burning, it's like, hey, it's finally out. That tremor made the sea stone nail come loose, so it was the tremor that caused it. And he ends up transforming into his uh, hydro form. He's only got one head though, and he's like, damn you, at least this way I can I can take you with me. Are you watching, Oda? <laughs> Your dear daughter is coming to accompany me to hell. And yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, this dude looks like a demon here. Like, I, I like this. I like the fact that he's on fire still, and he's transforming, and he's only got one head. So I think this implies that if if whoever comes in and kills, like, cuts his head off now, he's gonna die for good because yeah, it doesn't look like he's got multiple heads anymore. He's only got one head left. And this dude is on fire. He looks like a literal demon at this point. And you've got Hayori just like crying and just like sort of back in the way at this point, realizing, oh god, I'm gonna die now. Like, and then we're cutting back to Momo and uh, Yamato. And it's like, hey, Momo, huh? Luffy? Oh no, it's Luffy. It's Luffy. It's Luffy talking to uh, Yamato and Momo. Is like, huh? Luffy? And they look up and their eyeballs just flexing. I was like, what the hell? Like, so and they can see. They can. They see. And, and it's great. It's crazy. We, 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 obviously they're on the ground. They're on Onigashima on the roof, wherever they are on the side, and they're looking up, and they can they can see Kaido, right? And he's transformed. Obviously at this point he's transformed into his dragon form. I don't know if there's a page missing or something. Uh, I feel like there's a page missing because I swear, I, I swear there was a. When when Luffy grabbed Kaido, he transformed into his dragon form. Right. Yeah, I missed. I, I missed, I missed, I, mi I I need to go back and actually uh, tell you guys, there was, there was a bit of a dialogue that I remember reading that I just didn't get to, and I was like, what the hell? So when Kaido was saying, in the end, a strong devil through power isn't enough to con conquer these seas, and when he smacks Luffy and he's, and he's going up into the air, he's like, look, look at Roger, he had no through power and still brought the world to heal. And yeah, I completely missed this part. But yeah, I wanted to talk about that, like uh, the fact that we get this big reveal that Luffy, that Roger had no devil fruit abilities? Really, really? That's 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 both an impressive feat because because it means like this dude was very powerful and very strong, right? But they had no devil fruit. I don't know. I don't know whether to believe that or not because uh, one of my theories is that like Roger does in fact have a devil fruit ability, but it's 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 a very weird type of fruit that you. My, my, me personally, I'm thinking it's some sort of soul fruit or something because. 
the way Whitebeard during the uh, Marineford War, what was what you know when he was beaten on Blackbeard, he's like, "You're not the one he's waiting for." It, I always got the impression that maybe Roger is still alive, but like as a soul or something, and his soul is on Raftal, maybe. And that's that was his Devil Fruit ability that he died, but his soul still remains. Sort of like a version of Brooks uh, Devil Fruit, basically. But it's like you're dead, you're dead, but your soul still remains until you decide to like give up and go or whatever like or or maybe some sort of copy that he left behind so this revelation that he doesn't have a devil fruit um i don't know i don't believe it until until we get like more flashbacks with roger that really confirm this i don't believe it like, like I, if, if he had a devil fruit i like to believe that he hid it so well that he would have told other people do you know what i mean but yeah we get this final moment Momonosuke and Yamato looking up uh, and obviously they're looking up into the skies right now where the battle's going on. Luffy is still, he's still grabbing onto Dragon Form Kaido and he's stretched out one of his other arms and he's, his hand is basically it turned into a giant freaking hockey arm and he's like, you know, he's like, he's telling, you know, he's telling Momonosuke, he's like, Momono, hey, Momo, and they're looking up and he's like, I'm finishing this for good. Onigoshima is in the way, move it. And Yamato's like, if he, if, is he prepared to punch through the island? And Luffy, and, and Momo's like, Luffy, hold on, and Mom, and he's like, Momo, I know you've got this, and Kaido, and he's like, what? And then Kaido, he's just, he's like, he's like, yo, what? Like, like the fallout from this mighty blow. So yeah, that's what the that's the way the chapter ends. That's the way the chapter ends, and what a way to end the chapter with with Luffy, with with this realization that Onigashima is probably gonna get destroyed. Like he's gonna be punching. Like if basically if Momo doesn't start doing those flame bloody clouds of his own and get and move the island out of the way Luffy's gonna be punching Kaido through Onigoshi Onigoshima and he's gonna be destroying the freaking place and you're just gonna have chunks raining down the flower capital will be saved but most likely the majority of people on the on the freaking on on that freaking uh rock are gonna die or plummet to their deaths so What's going to happen next chapter then? Is Momo going to get the uh, ability that he needs? Is he going to get the uh, persuasion? Is this Luffy perhaps? Is this Luffy's way of, of coaxing uh, Momo to start, you know, doing it? It's like, okay, this, this, it's not working. I'm going to have to put, like, instill the fear of, the, like, 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 God into him, basically. Move the freaking rock or it's going to, or it's going to get destroyed, okay? Like, you, you go only, like, a few seconds to the side, right? Um... I don't know what's gonna happen, and is this gonna be the final punch to knock Kaido down? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I think I think we still got like maybe a good three to five chapters of this fight left. Maybe I don't know. I do kind of want this fight to wrap up, I and mean, if that's the way it ends, that would be amazing. Like Luffy just punching Kaido through Onigashima, and Onigashima just cracking. That would be amazing. But then what happens to the other characters? Now, if 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 Momo cannot move Onigashima. Is it possible he can fly down and catch everyone, perhaps? Maybe he can catch people with his flame clouds. Could that be possible, perhaps? That we, we Onigashima does get destroyed, but, uh, you know, the people get saved by Momonosuke, and he's using his flame clouds to save people. If he can't use the flame clouds uh, to, to move Onigashima, maybe he can use the flame clouds, I don't know, to, to create, like, a holding or, 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 or a net... Or, or like, or like, basically, it, 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 it is as it is. It's clouds, right? And people can just fall on top of the clouds, and he can just pull them, like, do you know what I mean? Like one by one, like, oh, clouds for you, clouds for this, clouds for that, and others can fall on his back and hang on to that, and and they can ride on him, and he can get them down to safety, perhaps. Uh, maybe, maybe that's what will happen, uh, because uh, you know. The idea of Kaido getting punched through Onigashima, it's something I definitely want to see, and I feel like I feel like it is going to happen. But what does that mean for the other characters? Are they going to die? No. Obviously, they're not going to die. They're going to get saved. But either Onigashima is going to, you know, get moved out of the way, or, or Luffy's punching through it. And the most likely scenario is Luffy is punching Kaido through Onigashima, and then, and then Momo's going to have to save all the others. That's my theory for what's going to happen with this uh, end part of the fight. But yeah, what a chapter. Pretty freaking cool. I feel like this is leading up to that final, like, hit climax where Kaido's just going to get knocked out. And then I'm hoping we get his freaking flashback because, yeah, we, we need it, man. It's, it's getting to that point where we need to learn about Kaido and, you know, and more about him, basically. But, yeah, uh, sweet chapter. Can't wait for, well, we're not going to have a chapter next week, I think, because it's Golden Week, apparently. Could be wrong there, but, uh, I mean, does it say that it's going on break? Uh, 
It doesn't say it's going on break. Maybe we are going to get a chapter next week. Maybe not, but uh, I thought we would have a chapter last week and we didn't, so that was unexpected. But yeah. Alright guys, that's my review reaction to uh, One Piece chapter 1047. As always, remember to like and subscribe, please. Thank you. Sorry about that. And yeah, guys, uh, great chapter. Thank you, Older. And uh, if you're taking a break, enjoy the break. And yeah, guys, as always, again, I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.